Morning, friends and family of the internet. Welcome back to Starkey mm -hmm. Formstead. So this video is very, very I'm important to you about your teeth. It's been a very long time since so I've done this type of video. And there's a reason I'm doing it today. Good friend of mine, her husband had an aortic infection, not a valve, but the aorta itself, lower down in the abdomen area. It was so infected, it blew the back of the aorta out. They were able to save his life. But right now, he is fighting for his life in intensive care. A father of six, seven, eight, eight kids, <laughs> eight kids, amazing family man. But listen to me, the first thing the surgeon said to the wife that I heard, because I was on the phone with her when surgeon came in last night, first thing she said was, has he had any issues with his teeth? Because when we see this, it is normally due to teeth being an infect, infected, right? Like a tooth infection. People are so worried about how they look to the rest of the world that you are leaving teeth that are infected, broken, abscessed, root canaled in your mouth because you're afraid of what people will say or think about you. I understand. I lost all of my teeth when I was only 45 years old. And then I spent the next four years with no teeth, top or bottom. I started YouTube with no teeth. So when you go back and watch my older videos, that's me with no teeth. In fact, right now I only have upper dentures. I was a school teacher, I had great insurance, right? So when I would have a tooth that would get bad, they would root canal it. They did this to me from the time I was 18 until I was like 38. I had like eight different root canals in my mouth. When I turned 42, my bones began to break. I had eight broken ribs in a two month period. Doctors had no idea what was causing it. I began to have mental issues. Nobody knew what was causing it. Fast forward it, I go see a podiatrist because I have a bed sore on the bottom of my right foot. I will never forget this. He said, ma'am, can I look in your mouth? I'm thinking, you're a foot doctor. And I said, sure, fine. Look in my mouth. I had beautiful teeth. He looked in my mouth. He gets a mirror. He takes some pictures. He tells Stephen, tells myself, he says, do you see this black line going across the back of your upper and the bottom of your bottoms and I'm like yes sir he's like that is necrotic damage he said this is causing the infection in your foot he said if this comes back I'm going to amputate you from your knee down I'm 44 years old I just went through eight broken ribs and I'm being told by a podiatrist that he's going to amputate me from my knee down because of infection in my mouth. Now doctors had run blood cultures, blood tests, nothing was showing up. What this podiatrist told me was, bacteria and minimal levels can hide. They can hide. So what happened? I had to go through eight major surgeries to get my teeth out. They removed so much bone from my mouth, from my jaw, due to it being necrotic, folks that I still cannot wear a bottom denture, no matter what they try. There's no such thing as needing a root canal. When a tooth needs a root canal, the nerve is affected in some way. Either the tooth has been broken down or there's a deep cavity that's gone all the way to that nerve level. That's what creates that abscess. When a root canal is done, what happens is there's a main canal inside of each tooth. That main canal is cleaned out and filled up. The trouble is, is there's more than just that main canal inside of the tooth. There are little side channels that go off of that main canal. Now, a root canal procedure cannot clean all those little side channels. What happens is there's still dead tissue left out in those little side channels. Eventually, bacteria are going to find the dead tissue. Sometimes we see huge holes in the jawbone where this infection is spread, eaten away the bone, the patient actually has no idea about it. In order to get rid of all of that dead tissue, the tooth has to be removed. 
clean up the bone, get all the bacteria and infection out of the bone, and then place a dental implant there. At There's some no point in my life, I will have implants put in, maybe, because I'm hearing negative reports about them now. Or maybe I'll just stay the way that I am and be thankful that I'm, again, my healthy, happy self. My brain works the way it's supposed to. My bones are no longer breaking on themselves. Why am I telling you this? Because I know every one of you that are listening to me, either you or somebody you love has a bad tooth in their mouth. For the love of God, get it out of their mouth now. I know it's expensive. You're talking to somebody that had eight major surgeries just to get my teeth out was over $5,000. Just to get dentures back into my mouth was over three. Because I guess what? Had to have another surgery to reshape my mouth to fit for the dentures I'm wearing right now. I understand the cost. But I also understand the cost to your mental and physical health. If you don't get those teeth out of your mouth. I have one small clip I want you to watch about why you should never ever have a root canal done. And then folks, I want you to pray about it. I want you to ask the Lord to make a way. Let me tell you what I did. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you can do it any other way, I highly suggest you do. But I went to LSU Dental School. Yeah, that's where dentists learn to be dentists. And eight surgeries later, it took me almost three years before I'd let another dentist in my mouth. I was highly traumatized. The pain was excruciating, but we got it all out and I'm still alive. Trust me when I tell you, this is the one thing you don't mess with. When I heard that surgeon tell my dear friend or ask her, has he had any issues with his teeth? I looked at Steven and I said, told you told you all those years. I was so sick. Nobody knew what was wrong with me. I was losing, even losing my mind a little bit because of the poison seeping straight to my brain from inside of my mouth. Folks, again, your family and friends should love you for you. Teeth are important. They help you smile. They help you eat, but they can also put you in your deathbed much faster than the Lord intends. Watch this next clip. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've not done so, please consider supporting our channel. We were demonetized for truth. Look in the top of comments, different ways you can give. Love you guys. Be blessed. Oh, add Danny Forrest and family to your prayer list because he is legitimately fighting for his life today. Bacteria cause cavities and can enter the tooth's inner layers, leading to infection. A tooth infection can escalate quickly, spreading beyond the tooth through the bloodstream with severe consequences. The infection can spread to your sinuses, causing a sinus infection. This can lead to facial pain, pressure, and difficulty breathing. In more serious cases, the infection can spread to the throat and neck, resulting in a life-threatening condition called Ludwig's angina. The infection can even make its way to the heart, causing an infection there. This can lead to a serious condition known as an infective endocarditis. The most alarming consequence is when the infection reaches the brain, forming a brain abscess. And in the worst cases, the infection can persist in the bloodstream, causing a medical emergency called sepsis. Sepsis can lead to organ failure and, if not treated promptly, can be fatal.